War Diary Day 617 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Yesterday we were treated to the spectacle of the British Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, having a lovely cosy chat with Elon Musk. The problem is that Elon Musk may well be a great engineer like Henry Ford, but just like Henry Ford, he's a moral pygmy. Musk has said a series of things which are ruinous to the interest of Ukraine, a peaceful democracy, which has been invaded twice by fascist Russia. And so, for Rishi Sunak, the British Prime Minister, to entertain Musk's drivel um, about AI, about the possibility of, of switching these robots off, as in Terminator, while not challenging him about the lies he's said about what's happening here in Ukraine, is frankly rubbish. So I'm particularly talking about Musk saying that there has been no fight back by the Ukrainians in occupied territory. This is utterly untrue. Watch our film, Under Deadly Skies. It's available on Amazon Prime. Or read my book, Killer in the Kremlin, published by Penguin. But say in our film, we interview uh, a Ukrainian man called Alexander who lived... Um, under occupation in Kherson when the Russians um, were still occupying the place and they tortured him brutally. You watch your film, you can see the man break down when he returns to the prison cell where he was tortured. And also there is a kind of um, a chart, a date thing that he and his pals scribbled on the wall. I have no doubt whatsoever that this story is true. But it's not just us, there's multiple, multiple examples of this. So what Musk was saying was quite wrong. And for the British Prime Minister to collude with his dark nonsense, which supports the Kremlin's narrative, is doubly wrong. So, Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. And his useful idiots in the West, they can fuck off too. Love from Kiev.